AI video, never stop development. They keep evolving and getting more and more exciting stuff. I'm going to show how to use some funny special video effects using ComfyUI with Wan 2.1, also Hunyuan video. Here's some demo, we have rodent getting squeezed by fingers and we have a lot of funny image to video creations. For instance, I have my AI characters squeezed like a rubber plastic, getting all that face and body into one ball shape. Also, I have something else like the previous video short that I showed, which I used this image, the woman holding a video Laura Banner. Sometimes why so serious? We can have more fun with that video Laura. We can squeeze this woman and the banner together. And we've got this skydiving woman into another squeeze effect. Okay, this woman looks a little grumpy. Let's make her happy. As we know, this video effect are available on some commercial AI video platforms, and they also have other kinds of video effects, such as fly, rockets, fire explosions, etc. And those are in the one 2.1 videos it's just like the hanyuan videos that we've played around with before what you do is download the lora models so for example we have the squeeze effect lora models we download that into our lora folder in comfy ui and we are able to run this select the squeeze effect lora model connect that with our diffusion model and then pass the output to our sampling for running that video effect of course we need some specific text prompts for instance in this squeeze effect we need a miniature man or woman with the squeeze keyword, which I've highlighted here. Actually, this is like a template of text prompts that you can use based on what they have provided here. So using this trigger word and just like a text template, the text prompt template in here, you are able to create a squeeze effect like this. Have fun, you know, posting on social media, whatever you want to share with your friends. And we can also if you are running low on VRAM, that is a drawback, but we can use other online platforms to run Comfy UI. Recently, I found out Running Hub is able to do that, and they have a lot of workflows focusing on Comfy UI. It's overwhelming with all the stuff on their website. But one thing I have to mention is that a lot of workflows here are well created by different users. However, sometimes the features and functions are duplicated. Meaning, if you have a squeeze effect, Laura, here like this, you also might have another squeeze effect, Laura, in other workflows, or what they call AI apps, on this platform. This platform only provides the comfy UI as the backend technology to run those video generations and image generations as well. Just like this one, the Street Fighter Energy Ball effect is also, as you can see, duplicated with two different users posing the same video effect workflow here. So be conscious that when you first land on this landing page, you might see all the images moving around, these animated GIFs, you know, moving around like this, you will be overwhelmed with all the workflows around here. But then when you calm down a little bit and see clearly what kind of effect or text prompt they provided, you will realize that many of them overlap with what they have for the LoRa models or just the AI video models as well. So for something like that, I picked a few that look good in their workflow design and performance wise. Also, if you are not from a technical background or lack Comfy UI workflow practice, you can simply click on those workflows on the banner here, like this one. It will redirect you to this page where you can basically, without any knowledge of using Comfy UI, just click this open AI app. That means you're just using a very friendly interface that anyone might understand how to use. I suppose you set the width and height, do a negative prompt, positive prompt, and then upload an image. And that image is going to bring up something like this. Generate the animations with the energy balls, like the Street Fighter Ryu special movie, Hadouken. Using this LoRa model, it will generate animation out for you. I have one example where I used their default settings workflow, where the author uploaded this woman. I'm not sure why bikini, but that's what it is. Actually, when you click on this drop down menu just like that, it pops up a custom UI list of LoRa models. Also, you can upload your own models, of course, here by clicking My Models and uploading the models using this button. It will bring you to a page like this where you create your own models and fill in all the information. Very simple and self explanatory. But a lot of the Wan 2.1 and Hanyuan video LoRa models 
both AI models and LoRa models, are already available here, meaning you can just select those. So, for example, this one, the phenom from using the Hanyuan videos model, and there's a lot of cool things that you can explore here. And for now, without all the overwhelming lists and files in there, we play around with the view workflow that is already made, and you can just click the button and run the video generation. Like what I have here and the other one that I want to show is the AI app interface. This is very easy and self-explanatory. So, for example, I have mine where the woman gets kissed by a man, and this animation is actually using one single photo, and using that photo that I have, an AI character that I generated before, and a lot of examples here as well. They are using one single photo and just animating that using the man kissing the woman. Well, this is not really a serious thing like, you know, good video animations or good video motions to create, but something is for social media and for fun, this kind of viral video can do. So I did one of these here using my AI characters and generating these animations. Another one is this 360 degree rotation. I think this is a really cool workflow that we can play around with. So again, this is just using one single image. You don't need to do any other text prompts or configurations on the ComfyUI interface because this is already built. Of course, if you are curious and have free time to configure the workflow, you can always go to the interface and click this workflow button and come here where you should see the page like this. You click launch the cloud and it will bring you to the page that includes everything needed for Comfy UI, those custom nodes, AI models, as well as predefined text prompts, etc. I suggest not to just download a workflow here because a lot of times they have some custom notes as well as some custom AI models that are uploaded to their platform, which sometimes might not be available to get those on your local machine. Therefore, I will just run like this one, for example, the AI app. Once you upload that, just click run at the bottom of the page and you will see it start generating on this page. Basically, just wait for the generate result to show here and you will see all the generated results. Some of them will fail if there's interference or some overtime, etc. happening on this platform. It might happen caused by the workflow error or the share memory interrupted. I have to mention this just to be clear for everyone who watched this. But so far, this platform has almost the complete list of LoRa's here. As you can see, there are all the LoRa's for SDXL, Flux, etc. Those are of course also available on Civitai.com. Just like the rodent squeezing video effect, you can download these LoRa models and run them locally just like what I did here. And the squeeze effect of course is also here. The running hub is available to play around with, and for this one, it's actually very easy. Again, the AI app interface, just upload an image, do your text prompts. Actually, this text prompt, just as I mentioned, you don't have to do any editing here as well because it's already embedded in this template. So just upload your image, it's good enough. Also, another one is the flying video effect, and you can see this one is pretty funny, not, you know, grand style gorgeous AI video movies like those professional motions. But then for this video effect, it's fun to play around with. Also, the One 2.1 recently created lots of video effects like this kind of thing and embedded them as LoRa models. You can try that here, just like this panda flying in the air. This is actually the One 2.1 with the flying LoRa for the One 2.1 as well. So, right here we got the LoRa. If you click onto the workflow, you will see the flow flying effect for the LoRa and where you have the image, it's very easy. What you can do is select your own image here. Like for example, I have my animated character and then just click the run button and you are ready to go. Say I wanna try this one this time and see how that goes. So as you can see, when I click the run button, it starts processing the one LoRa models loading. It's just like what we used to do in the local Comfy UI. Why I wanna try this platform is because there's a lot of complete lists of AI models already here. And as you can see, the diffusion models as well, all the models completed, they already host them on their site. Also the LoRa models, when you click the drop down menu, it actually pops up their own interface. You can choose whatever LoRa that you want to use for that as well. And it doesn't charge you storage space for your own account. 
which is a plus because they already have those LoRa model files uploaded and you don't have to spend time going to your control panel and uploading those files, like, you know, 20 or 30 gigabytes of size like the WAN 2.1. You have to wait for those upload times. In this platform, you don't have to do that, and it doesn't charge you those storage fees. All they charge is the processing fee for doing the inferencing, like, for example, what I'm doing right now. The sampling steps here only charge you the time of using this for the GPU computing time, and that's all it is. Okay, so we got the generate result and in this comfy UI interface. So as you can see, the video here, yeah, it's just like what we expected. Using that video effect of flying and everyone can be flying. If you have your own image, you upload it here and you yourself can be flying as well. So that is what this workflow is doing for the video effect and the task list here is also showing the generate result. You can always go back here and download your previous generate result as well. And the next thing is combining two images together for hugging character motions. I see a lot of commercial apps, especially in mobile apps, showing a lot of those advertisements, you know, getting you to download those mobile apps. And they are showing similar video creative or video ads on a lot of social media platforms right now using these hugging motions. And right now, here is simplified for you, just using the AI app interface in Running Hub here. Just upload two images, and that's good enough, ready to go. Also, the One 2.1 has video to video editing, as I mentioned before in my previous video, which was using an image as an influence for the output effect. But here we have video to video just using the text prompts. Basically, you upload your own video here, do your text prompts, and you get the generate result like what is showcased here and of course in other examples as well. You can see right there, like this one. So, but one thing about video to video using flow edit right now is that there's no control net for pose, line art or depth map, something like that, to really control the motions. Therefore, sometimes the details of the motions, like what you see in this one, this cat, their hands are not actually putting up like the source video of that cat movement. And that's the drawback of flow edit video to video. That's what I've tested so far. And we might have to wait for the control net models. Uh, some open source people on Hugging Face might be working on that as well. So yeah, looking forward to those updates for WAN 2.1 and Hanyuan videos as well. Hanyuan videos did a lot of LoRa models in the last couple of months. And it's still really good for generating videos like this John Wick example. Of course, there are many other NSFW video effect LoRa model in both WAN 2.1 and Hanyuan video. So yes, that is it for this video. Hope this inspires you guys to try out different LoRa models for doing the video effects. And I will share all those links that I just showed in the video description below. So I will see you on the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.